All right. So last night, the Falconers of Nigeria played their second match at the ongoing FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup in Colombia. They faced the German side that, like Nigeria, came into the game with three points in the bag. And at the end, the Falconers picked up their first loss of the competition. Game ended three goals to one in favor of the German side. And this continues the German domination of the Falconers at this level. In five matches, they have five wins, zero draws, and zero losses. And our goal yesterday was only our second goal against the German side, the other coming in the quarterfinals of the 20, not 20, the 2004 World Cup in Thailand. Now, before we get into more details about the match, please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much. So yeah, first of all, no highlights on the channel, just in case you're asking. Of course, that has to do with copyright issues. Cannot put highlights of the game on the channel, but I will try to put it on the website, nigerbiasfootball.com. And you can also follow the Twitter page and because I'm gonna put the link from the website on the Twitter page and we can move like that. But talking about the match, three goals to one in favor of the German side. So Germany scored the first goal of the game in the 17th minute of the match. Alara Sidla scored the goal for Germany. Then you had to wait all the way to the second half for the second goal of the match. That was scored by Chiamaka Okuchuku in the 50th minute. Looked like both teams had a lot to play for at that portion of the game. But then Germany scored two more goals in the match. Z Sophie Zebel scored the f second goal in the 61st minute for Germany. Then in the third minute of added time, Sarah Ennis made it three goals to one. And that was all she wrote for the Falconers. Now, when it comes to the game, I'm kind of mixed up a little bit about what I saw. I mean, I did see the Falconers have a bunch of chances, especially in the first half. Really should have put the game away in the first half if we we're being serious. But at the same time, I also saw a team that had zero answers for what the Germans were throwing at them. I mean, it wasn't rocket science. The Germans did the same thing from start to finish of the game crosses into the box we talked about it before the match that was their strategy they put balls into the box we could not stop them from putting the ball in the box and when the ball came the defending in the box was just poor it was it was completely poor we allowed so many chances so many chances it was so easy get the ball on the wing put it in the box and somebody's gonna pop up and have an opportunity and the thing was, we were really putting pressure on the Germans when we had the ball. But once we lost the ball, it was like there was a chance that we could concede a goal. Because, I mean, like I said, it was too easy. We had no answers. Maybe at the ending of the first half, you had one midfielder going to help the fullback. But then in the second half, when you lose the ball, when you give away a ball, like just uselessly, you put yourself in trouble because now you can't set up like you would like to. Now you can't have those two players on the wing, you know, on that player that's on the wing. Now the player has a one-on-one -on -one or even just free and has a lot of space. So I feel like the coach had a lot to do with the outcome of this game right here. You start from player selection before you get to the competition. Then you get to the match itself, your starting lineup, your substitutions, your in-game adjustments everything was f minus on the day for the coaching staff now at the end of the day or the beginning of the day the Falconers remained at number two on the table and they're right behind Germany the other two teams in the group played out a draw 0-0 draw between Korea Republic and Venezuela the Falconers next game will be against Venezuela that match will be played on Saturday the 7th of September 9 p.m. Nigerian time to start and it will be hosted at the Estadio Olimpico Pascual Guerrero in Cali, Colombia. But let me know your thoughts on the Falconers chances going forward in this competition. They lost their second game of the competition to Germany, three goals to one. But let me know how you feel they can do going forward. Put that in the comment section. And please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already watch mm -hmm.